Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a weekly pick a card. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to do layouts and things like that. But here are our three piles for the week ahead. So I'm just trying to get into weekly guidance at the moment and then we can hopefully further down the line dive deeper into um, more specific pick cards for for this week it's very general so how do pick cards work if you've never watched them or you're new here is basically i have three different piles and the reason i put crystals on them is because some people like to focus in on crystals which is totally fine and um, but really what i would always suggest is to follow your own intuition where are you feeling guided where are you feeling the most drawn to Sometimes we can just feel more drawn to the crystal, which obviously can be the messages that we need to hear. My pick of cards are really around what we need to hear more so than what we actually want to hear. And it's very much how I do readings as well. So um, without prolonging this anymore, and I know we want to get to our pick of cards, I should have the timestamps below. I hope I remember to do them. Um, just sit back, relax, and you can go to the time timestamp of the group that you have picked. So this is group one, group two, and group three. And we have um, green adventuring, soda light, and rose quartz on these. So take as much time as you need, or you know, pause the video if you want to do that. And uh, we'll we'll take a deep breath in together, all of us. So into your nose. Hold once it kind of gets that bit um not uncomfortable but just kind of like where you're like yeah that's all i can do and then release slowly out through your mouth okay so just to kind of calm and center ourselves because i feel like the energy is quite um uh all over the place at the moment. It's very emotional. I feel very, very high emotions at this moment in time. Anyway, let's get into your pick cards. A group one. So the cards we have for you are five of wands, calming the waters peaceful, like self-regulation, the ever unfolding rose, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. And we also have guardians of the land protection. <laughs> Excuse me. So the first thing I'm feeling here, especially with this five of wands here, is <clears throat> excuse me quite a lot of conflict going on in your life for for some of you i'm picking up a lot of mental clutter is what i'm picking it up as it's just uh, with the way this card is and the image and i don't always go by the traditional meanings of what you know tarot says i'm very much intuitive here so um i'm really feeling the sense of there's just so much going on outside you and for a lot of you and getting the feeling of like a lot of outside influences influencing you and your decisions and how you want to move forward all right some of them might have the best intentions for you um others might not they might be in it for a personal game i really feel in the sense here especially with the um calming the waters and protection here is to protect your own energy you know, look after yourself. There's no, um, if you don't put boundaries in place, is really the sense I'm getting here is people are going to take advantage of that. Okay. And especially if you're very kind hearted and, you know, you like to look after people and you really put yourself in other people's shoes or positions that you tend to think of yourself last that um yeah people can take advantage of this and you may not be seeing eye to eye with everyone either you know especially if they have an input or their own opinions okay um of course you can take that on board but what i would say is just be very weary of it um follow i always say this but like follow what feels right to you if this isn't sitting well or you know somebody is trying to have their own input in whatever situation in your life um i feel for a lot of you it's a personal thing it's not so much work or it's really in your personal life that um 
just a way up okay because with this um calming the waters and peaceful self-regulation here i'm really feeling a sense for a lot of you is to bring definitely that more calm into your life that real getting centered um as in you know kind of slow down i feel this is very very fast and there's just so much coming at you from all angles. You're kind of looking left, right, up, down, around. You Like as in <laughs> your head is nearly doing a 360 of all the stuff that's come, coming at you. They're really getting the sense of, you know, definitely self-regulation. So really coming back, protecting your own energy, you know, as setting boundaries. No is a full sentence. You do not have to give more of yourself than is expected. Excuse me. And also, you know, coming back to self, you know, you don't have to get caught up in everybody else's chatter, you know, and oh, <laughs> there's the birds to create some peace in your life, especially if you live a very chaotic, busy life, you know, not even chaotic, but just fast pace, fast moving. Um, but with this, this cracked open here, I really feel for some of you, it's... Uh, as hard and all as it is can be to hear is that kind of victim mentality sometimes kind of like why does this always happen to me you know instead of flipping the narrative and going why is it happening for me you know what what will I gain from this what will I learn from this um we cannot have light if we have not experienced the dark do you know that kind of way that's the sense I'm really getting here it's we cannot appreciate the good if we don't experience the bad you know everything cannot be a high we have to have lows it's the the waves of life it's how it flows and especially you know they see there we are with the water flowing you know flow with that water but don't be afraid to stand up for yourself this week i really feel like there'll be that like when i keep hearing it's like a pivotal point okay things will change but you have to obviously make this choice yourself nobody else can do it for you only you i hope that resonates group one please let me know in the comments below if you do if you haven't already like the video subscribe you know the usual and i will see you in the next video bye hi group two so the cards we have for you is the world clarity planning releasing illusion we have palladies which is double mission channeling and uplifting humanity and dragon power and the first thing I want to say with this group, I'm really feeling quite a lot of emotions coming up here. Because I feel for a lot of you, especially with this world card, something is coming to an end. Something is not a, like, it's not a bad ending. It's a completion. Something's being finished. It's fascinating. You know, something is, you're finally finding that balance within life some of you may be feeling off balance and this could be a great reminder as well to bring when possible of course more balance into your life okay try not to tip the scales too much in one or the other way but for a lot of you i feel especially with this dragon card here we have power and 11 and 11 is such an amazing um master number if you're into that kind of stuff and i really feel for a lot of you this is about finally coming out of your shell and stepping into your own power bringing stuff you know bringing yourself out of your comfort zone really stepping up owning who you are and if it is something that you've been holding off on this is going to be a great reminder here with these cards to come on out of your shell come out into the world and don't be afraid you know you're here especially with this with uplifting humanity so for a lot of you I feel this could be whether it be art you create or music you create um or just by you know even little things that you could be sharing on social media you don't know how much you are helping somebody even if they never comment or like or, or anything you have no idea the effect that you have on other people here group two this is a really really I'm, I'm feeling a lot of high emotions but as in feeling nearly overwhelmed with it because i really feel this strength because 
with this clarity it's like it's become clear to you it's finally making sense and especially if you're feeling lost right now it will make sense you know it whether that is you know a situation within your life a friendship that makes no sense now will become clearer a relationship you know where yeah whether that be a romantic or friendship will become clearer you know you could be having issues within your family you know i feel in one sense you're going to be set free that i mean here you've had to bring this inner strength you had to nearly remove yourself from the situation to be brought back into it is what i'm getting a sense for a lot of you to finally bring it to an end to a closure to finally close that chapter and let's move on to the next one that's the great sense i'm getting here because especially with the uplifting humanity i'm really feeling a sense in one way a spiritual sense of raising that vibration and moving on to the next stage of your spirituality if that makes sense as in you're not at a beginner stage anymore wouldn't say you're an expert maybe you are watching this but you're really heading on to the next level um and that there's been this kind of breakaway of things that you used to see one way you don't see them that way anymore what you have been perceiving is really open opening more to you you're kind of letting go of that illusion of how you thought things should be or how you had imagined them to be and they're not like that at all embrace it is the real sense i'm getting here for you group too it's really about embracing it welcome it home like an old friend an old family member that you would don't shy away from it group two i hope this makes sense to you please let me know in the comments below if you haven't already please hit um the like button subscribe if you want to and i will see you all in the next video bye guys hi group three so the cards we have for you are justice river of blessings releasing constraints you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north and we have elves with playfulness the first thing overall with what i am feeling with these cards and i find it very very interesting that we have these two what well, feels like very very powerful people and then these two here are facing away so there is something here within your life that you have to you know face head on you really need to make a decision and stick with it you know it's about like in one sense like drawing that line going okay you've come this far that's it we are setting boundaries in place um i think group one had the same really like protecting your own energy know that the universe your spirit guides angels whatever whatever resonates here with you excuse me are protecting you they're minding you but justice will be served is what i'm really getting the sense of this could be a legal um thing that you're going through you could be going through the courts for whatever reason being it could be like a, a legal issue <coughs> excuse me it could also be um an issue within your own life so that could be um family work it could be something that you've been trying to resolve with the longest of times and it's just been a back and forth a back and forth this is finally kind of saying this will be resolved this will finally sort itself out justice will be served but you know you need to also kind of go enough is enough and make the decision and go ahead forward with it knowing that you will be supported and minded and all that but just make a decision is what i'm really getting the sense of um, especially with the releasing constraints here a river of blessings it's really about like releasing that self-doubt releasing the self um the, the negative thoughts that you're holding on around the situation this could be kind of stopping you from moving forward as well because you know we could talk ourselves out of oh well you know this could create a lot of hassle and stuff like that and we don't always see how it could potentially get better because we're avoiding what kind of um issues it could bring up or trouble and sometimes again we we have to go through these things to learn how strong we are how capable we are 
and you know it's really about i'm really getting a massive sense of like that divine feminine so while we don't want the confrontation is what i'm getting you know feeling here is you also have to um you do have to step up okay you do have to face this but also i feel for a lot of you you're coming from that place of compassion that intuitive side that you're tuning into going okay well i'm gonna follow what my gut is telling me and how can i approach this the best way possible I love this. Stop overthinking it. I feel for a lot of you, this is definitely getting caught up in your own head. Going over different scenarios, possibilities. I mean, sometimes, you know, the odds of that it turning out that way. You know, it nine times out of ten, it does go better. But of course, yes, this is life. Sometimes it doesn't go the way we had imagined it to go. But that's all right. Just you know with this here it's really about just keep moving forward you will hit bumps you will have to walk climb nearly drag yourself to the top of the hill that's the journey of life we got to keep on plodding through but don't let those thoughts stop you from moving forward because i love with this playfulness card here is that for some of you you forgot to have fun you forgot to bring joy into your life some of us take it way too serious life too serious and that we forget to in one way embrace that inner child and to create that playfulness so whether that be having a fun picnic and really going all out with it or just playing a favorite song and dancing like who cares who's watching you can do it in the comfort of your own home watching your favorite cartoons can always be a great one what is it that your inner child is asking you to do to bring that joyfulness that playfulness it's really about kind of loosening it up loosening up i'm stripping up my words mercury retrograde <laughs> great <laughs> but really loosening up here um try not to get too caught up in the seriousness of everything yes of course we have to knuckle down and we have to um be adults and we have to make these decisions and whatnot but don't forget to have fun don't forget to you know follow where you're being guided to or where you feel you're needing to go you know it's you can feel it in every fiber of your being this draw you know this pull to go towards this side you know but don't 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 forget to have fun along the way that's the whole point of life it's to be enjoyed it's to be embraced good and bad so group three i hope that makes sense let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already hit the like button please and don't forget to subscribe if you want to join of course and i will see you all in the next video bye guys